Red Mile Racing and Gaming is taking its first crack at hosting the Railbird Festival. After a couple of years at Keeneland, organizers are excited about the new venue for this weekend's event. LAX18's Michael Burke reports from the track. If anyone says this year's Railbird Fest at Red Mile is going to be lit, they're not kidding. But it's not just the music and the party. They have taken that very seriously and they have um, erected a lot more structures with shade. So I think that will be a really beneficial thing for all the guests. Obviously, they'll be well prepared with water and making sure people are staying um, hydrated and cool throughout the day. Lexington's two day music fest is expected to take place under the hottest sun we've had since last September. And it's coming to Red Miles Infield for the first time since its inception. From the music to the food to the um, shopping, just I think it'll be a great cultural experience for everybody. In addition to the added cooling stations to offset this weekend's forecasted heat, the great thing about this event being back at Red Mile is that visitors can walk inside and try to press their luck. Absolutely. People are welcome to go into our gaming floor. Um, that's free of charge, anyone over the age of 21. And for people of all ages, the hope is to make the event memorable while making this place its annual destination of choice. A focal point in their calendar each year to think about Red Mile and as another um, entertainment venue here in Lexington. Two days worth of that at Red Mile under a red hot sun. In Lexington, Michael Burke for Evening Edition.